How does a student set up an APA style paper? The APA, or American Psychological Association, has different guidelines for a student paper than for a professional journal. It is still a formal style though. You'll need a title page, a body with section headings, and a reference page. In this video, we will discuss basic setup and the title page. After watching this video, you can use our visual guide or your instructor's template to remind yourself of the steps to set up your paper. Let's start at the beginning. As a Lone Star College student, you have access to Microsoft 365. One of its advantages, besides being free to you, is that it auto-saves your documents so you can get to them from any computer. To get it, you go to My Lone Star, log in, go to student email, and these vertical ellipses up in the top left, where you'll choose Word. You can see that you have most of the other Microsoft Office applications available to you also. Word offers an APA template, but I don't think it makes it any easier than just laying out your paper properly yourself. A template can be pretty stubborn if you want it to do something a little different. At the moment, it's still APA 6th edition, while we're using the 7th edition. If you prefer, you can download Microsoft 365 to your computer. The advantage is that you can use it even when you're not online. Go to Lone Star College, Office of Technology Services, Student Resources, Get Software. You might want to make a note of the URL. It's not that easy to find. Let's look at fonts for a moment. Fonts come in two basic versions, serif and sans serif. What does that mean? A serif font has little adornments or feet at the ends of the letters, where sans serifs do not. Serif fonts are more readable on a paper document, and sans serif reads better online. APA recommends Calibri 11, Lucinda Sans Unicode 10, Times New Roman 12, or Arial 11. You may notice that three of the four recommended fonts are sans serif. After all, aren't most of your papers submitted online these days? They do say you can use another font similar in size and readability. But take care. Fonts have personality styles, and you don't want to send the wrong message. Which font seems more readable to you, more appropriate for your topic? You can see that these are all about the same size. You might be tempted to go bigger if, say, your instructor has told you to write a 10-page paper. Don't do it. A double-spaced paper is expected to have about 250 words on a page. That means a 10-page paper should have about 2,500 words. How do you know how many words you've written already? You look down here at the bottom left. You can see that I currently have 15 words. You will need a page number on every page, including the title page, so we'll start with that. Go to the Insert tab, choose Page Numbers, and the third choice on the top row. That's all you have to do. Don't put a page number in yourself. You don't want every page to be page one. You might be using the desktop version of Word. That looks a little different. Go to the Insert tab, choose Page Number, Top of Page, Plane Number 3. Don't worry, that doesn't mean your paper will start with page three. You could actually do this step on any page and all the pages would be numbered correctly. Double click to get out of the header. Now let's go back to the home tab. Notice that we're still on the desktop version. See this little arrow next to paragraph? That chooses the paragraph dialog box. We want our entire paper to be double spaced. So here under line spacing, we're going to choose double Below that, don't add extra space between paragraphs of the same style. OK. Back to the browser version. When you double click on the page to get out of the header, your header disappears. Don't worry, it's still there. For now, though, it's not taking up space on your screen. Go to the Home tab, tap the ellipses on the far right, and choose the Paragraph Options box. 
It looks a little bit different than the par paragraph dialog box that we saw on the desktop version, but you can still do the same things with it. Here where it says line spacing, remember that we don't want multiple, we want double. We didn't want extra space between paragraphs. Where do you get rid of that? Here where it says after eight points, we want to change that to zero. Okay, an APA paper starts with a title page. Enter three or four times until you're about a quarter of the way down the page. Then type your title in title case. What is title case? It means that every important word is capitalized. Notice that with our title, false news in the media, the preposition in and the article the are not capitalized. Bold and center. Enter twice, undo the bold, and type in your name, your school and campus, your course number and name, your instructor, and the date. What date? This is the due date, not the date you wrote the paper. It doesn't really matter whether you finished early or, as far as APA style is concerned, whether you finished late. I wouldn't take a chance on that, though. It will matter to your instructor. That's it. Your title page is done. Go to the Insert tab and select Page Break. Now you're ready to start the body of your paper. Our next video, Writing Your Paper APA Style, Body and Reference Page, will explain that.